How's it going everybody? My name is Metalcore and welcome back to another PUBG Mobile video. This video is a little bit special because we're checking out a gun that's not out in our version of the game, but I actually got my hands on the Chinese version of the game. Don't ask me how, it literally took forever to try to get my hands and play this game. It took more than just creating a Chinese Apple Store like account, but I had to make separate accounts just to log in to the PUBG version of the Chinese version of this game. It's a separate app. You can't just log in through, I guess you could say region. You can't just be like, oh, I'm from China. You actually have to download a separate app just to download this application. There are a few different things about this application because it is a higher updated version than our version. But it's very interesting because even though this is, I think, 0 0.11 or 0 0.12, this one does not have zombies mode in it. Even though zombies mode is going to be coming out sometime soon, probably in the next version of the game. So it's pretty awesome that there's a lot of differences between the two, but there's a lot of similarities. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new G36C, which I'm not sure if it's coming out next update or the update after that, but it's a gun that hasn't been released in the game yet. I want to show off how OP this weapon is, how amazing it is. There also is another weapon, which is considered a pistol, but it's a machine pistol. It's a submachine gun pistol, and it's like a scorpion. These weapons are in the PC version of PUBG, and that's the reason why we can speculate that it will eventually come to our version. You can't. You could check that there is no new submachine guns, but in the PC version, they just released the PP Bison, a different submachine gun that will eventually come to our versions of PUBG Mobile. But today's video will be focusing on this brand new gun, and I think it's absolutely amazing. And the reason why it's amazing is because it has slow rate of fire. So I think this is going to be a very beginner friendly and just a very good gun in general. I'm going to show it off in a little bit, and um, yeah, I think I explained how I got the Chinese version. A little bit about this version and now we're gonna play this gun so let's let's play with it we're gonna go into training mode if you guys want to see full gameplay of this let me know you can, you guys can see that they got the Chinese New Year stuff let me just like they've got some sick stuff look at this wait for it they got they got some cool things like another thing that's very different is I don't know if you can actually spend money on the Chinese version it could be against laws or something they could have like you know there's like RNG and stuff maybe they don't like RNG of the crates I'm not sure how you spend money. You might be able to spend money, but they got this really, really cool M416 skin for the Chinese New Year's, which would be so sick if we had this one. But anyways, let's go to training mode and let's check out the G36C, a amazing gun. And I'll show you guys why it's amazing in a second. Let's hope that the people in here aren't too loud. Let's get up a little setup real quick. Let's get a backpack on. All right, yeah, so there will be people shooting. I don't know how loud the in-game audio is, but hopefully it's not too loud. I decided to just quickly make this video just to show you guys. I, I, I basically just randomly logged into this game and I was like, you know what? I want, I want to mess around with this gun, the G36, because I've used it a little bit, but I, I didn't realize how amazing it was. The setup that I had on it was we had an extended mag, I had a compensator, and then I had a foregrip. So I think it's a vertical foregrip. So then we get the 5.56, we get, we're going to get a couple, of, oh, sorry, I was in that guy's way. We're going to get a little bit of 5.56 here. Let's get up to like 200 or something. Oh, and I had it two times. All right, we're going to grab it two times. I know it's a very weird setup, but I think this will, I think this will work. We'll grab a four times, a two times, and a red dot. But let me show you the work I could do with the two times here. What are these roses? All righty. Anyways, Okay. Check out this gun. I'm going to focus for a little bit. I'm going to go into pure focus mode. But look at the... So you can tell that it has a slow rate of fire. Let me just show you guys the slow rate of fire. So to empty that mag, it took really long. If we get a higher rate of fire gun, like the... Let's get the AK. If we get a higher rate of fire gun here, I'll show you guys how, uh, how fast you can empty that mag. Get the extended mag on this. Yeah, this is training mode, so there will be people training and messing around. All right, watch the AK. Ready? I guess, I guess the AK might not be the best one. Whatever. I mean, the AK always feels like it's pretty fast. But let's get maybe the Groza. The Groza has a pretty high rate of fire. Okay. Hey, the Groza is pretty. Maybe. Okay. Maybe I was mistaken. Maybe the M762 is a. A gun that has very high rate of fire. But compared to other guns, I feel like the G36C has a pretty low rate of fire. The AK, 
I shouldn't have compared it to the AK. I, I just always consider the AK as my close range gun. And usually close range guns have that high rate of fire. Like the QBZ has high rate of fire. But anyways, let me show you because of the low rate of fire and the low recoil. Let me show you guys how fast and good I can aim with this gun and how nice it is. All right. So let's just, let's just do a little pretend scenario. So we're moving up on the enemy. You stand right here. I can hit those targets pretty easily. It just it just feels super nice and smooth. Like how fast I could shoot and how nicely I can aim with these targets is just super nice. It just the recoil isn't heavy and it's pretty controllable, especially with the two times. I'm sure with the a longer scope it's a little bit harder to control the recoil, but that's just of course with any, with any gun. But the recoil, and I just feel like it's super easy to use, this gun. And that's why I really like it, especially at close range. Of course, this gun's pretty nice to use at close range. But I feel like it's going to be just a nice gun in general to have. And I'm, I'm going to be probably using this gun a lot. So, I also always like peeking. That's something that helps my aim. That was kind of bad. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I was literally sitting here... I was just sitting back chilling and just destroying with this gun, like at, at least on the practice range. And of course, if you guys don't know, I'm a thumbs player on the iPad. So my aim isn't the greatest if it was on claw, but I, I like playing on thumb. And I like leaning. Leaning also helps me. Pretty great. I don't know. I'm, try I'm trying my best for you guys. I just really like the gun. Those can move back too. All right, let's try. Let's try it with the four times. I haven't tried it with the four times yet. Yeah, the recoil. Of course, when it's long range, you have to figure out the nice little nice spot in the gun that basically kind of like that. Kind of like you got to figure out what to push down with your thumb or your finger. To make it recoil the way you want it to recoil. It's a pretty heavy recoil when it's really far away, but a lot of guns have that heavy recoil when you're shooting super far away. Like that right there was pretty pretty decent recoil control. But it's very interesting. I think this gun has a lot of goods, and I think I'm gonna be using it a lot as a close range. Like it's it's not not probably like a medium range. I feel like a medium range would do pretty well with this gun. But I just wanted to show you guys because I know a lot of people haven't been able to uh, check out this gun yet. And I thought, you know what, might as well show the people who don't have the Chinese version and it's not in the beta of the English version. So I might as well just show you guys the so it's a It's a fun gun to use. Anyways, I just was basically messing around with the gun at the end there. I just wanted to check out, like, you know, the recoil at dis different distances and kind of just mess around with the gun in general. It's a gun that will eventually be coming to our version of the game because every time they release something in this game, it will eventually come to our game. Um, I think the ex the thing that's... There's some exclusive things, of course, like the Chinese New Year stuff um, that might not come to our game or even the... Um, I have a feeling that the... What was it? The the like monster, the the Chinese New Year monster that they released. It was basically like a raid boss. I feel like that's being replaced in our version of the game, the global version of the game, into a uh, the zombie mode. I think. So, anyways, I don't know. I just wanted to check out the G thirty six C. It's a very very fun gun to use. It's a very oh, I just went back to the training mode. It's a very very interesting gun to use, and I like the fact that each gun. Oh my gosh. I like the fact that each gun that they release has a different feel to it and it doesn't feel, oh, 
this is the same exact gun. The most recent gun that they've released to our game is the MK47 Mutant, a very brand new, unique feeling gun. And then now they're gonna release the G36. Um, and then the cool thing about this, this kind of feels like the Uzi, but a slower rate of fire Uzi. And then it's like a, a pistol. So you can actually put it where your pistol slot is. So you can have, you can literally have the, you can have an AWM, you can have a G36, and then you can have this as your secondary gun. And I'm pretty sure it can have an extended mag. Yeah, that's what the extended mag looks like. And it can have 40 shots. It's absolutely insane. So I'm very, very excited for a lot of the new guns that will eventually come to our game. I'm not sure when. I know a lot of people probably are assuming because I'm partnered with PUBG Mobile, like I know everything, but that's really not the case. I don't really know what, when, and where. I usually know just around the same times you guys know. But um, I hope this gun comes soon because I had a lot of fun using it. I've played in regular matches in the Chinese version of the game and I've used this gun and the Scorpion and they both are absolutely amazing. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe for more PUBG Mobile content. Right now, I'm actually hosting a tournament hosted by uh, Omelette Arcade, hosted and sponsored by Omelette Arcade. Every Tuesday, I'll be doing that on streams, uh, Twitch, which I'll link in the description down below. And also on my Omelette Arcade, which is linked down below if you guys want to watch that. I am not able to stream on YouTube. I'll let you guys know if I'm able to stream on YouTube again. But about a week ago, they, they didn't allow me to live stream. And I might, not be able to, uh, I, not, I might not be able to live stream for 90 days. So we'll have to see. I'm, I'm talking to YouTube right now. They haven't gotten back to me. I, I sent a message. They responded. And now they haven't gotten back to me after I responded. So it's been a struggle. But yeah, we're trying. But anyways, like I said, a lot of cool things. Always doing PUBG Mobile stuff, so make sure you guys subscribe for that. If you guys like Battle Royale content in general, just subscribe for that as well. But thank you guys again for watching today's video. My name is Metalcore. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.